Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and this is going to be the first of a couple video tutorials on how to get going being a contributor on my website or if you're watching this to be because you're a contributor on someone else's website and you're new to all of this stuff. This is just kind of a walkthrough on how to get going. Um, first thing you got to do is you got to log in. Um, it's going to be at a specific login area for the website uh, you'll get an email probably or a message from whoever you're working with about the location of that login it's not always the same because uh, hackers know the default setting for that location so a lot of websites change it but when you're logging into WordPress a couple of things to keep uh, in mind is that the new WordPress uh, passwords need to be really big and really complicated or just random uh, letters and numbers and stuff uh, so your password is more than likely going to be big and it's also case sensitive so just just something to keep in mind if you're not being able to log in so I've just logged in and um, I'm under a new user here on my website and the first thing you want to do is come to your profile and this is where you're just going to set up uh, your name and stuff like that. Uh, your your username it was going to be ch put in by an admin, and you can't change it. But you can change the first and last name, and then and the nickname and things like that. You can also change what it is displayed as. It could be Pat, Patrick, Pocket. Um, and then you just want to make sure your email is correct and then put in your website if you have it and your contacts if you want them to be part of your profile and then you want to add your biographical info like uh, my name is Pat and I'm a new blogger or I'm a blogger musician blah 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 and if you want you can change your password if the uh, admin just sent you something generic and you feel like you you can remember your own password better this is the place to do it and then just hit update profile uh, what this biographical info is is at the bottom of the post when you make a post or contribute to the website um, you will see this at the bottom of the post who posted it and that short biographical info so here is my biographical info um, the author is me this will go to my website um, and just a little bit of information about myself so it's just um, a way to keep things personalized and also let people who are reading it know who has made the post the next thing you want to do is come into a post and make a post so I'm gonna go to add new and as a contributor on WordPress you're only going to be able to save as a draft the admin of the website or an editor of the website can post it. So let's just make a test title here um, and then just write whatever we want blah 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 blah. Uh, if you hit this you can get more options and in the website, my website at least, I like to have a heading title which will be something important in relation to the title and the content and then I'll just come down and do some blah -de blah 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 um, if you want to use the SEO um, hint guide I guess you can use a keyword so say this is about test I would say test here and then click out and it will tell me kind of what I'm missing with as far as search engine optimization and this is important that's uh, you know kind of what blogs are about um, and then here in the meta description is where you're going to put what shows up on like a Google or Yahoo search below the title. Uh, this is a, these are also pretty important keywords should be filled in here. So I would say this is a test page for the contributor tutorial. And I'd want to kind of fill it out as much as I can. It tells you how many characters you have left, just like kind of a Twitter thing. Uh, you get up to 156 here, and you want to fill that out. Uh, tags, you don't really need to worry about that. Um, they're almost obsolete. Uh, the content of the actual post is far more important to me anyway. 
And the next thing you want to do is pick some categories. Now, some things will fall into different categories, and you might want to pick more than one. But uh, you know, just pick what is relevant. Uh, you can't add anything to this. If you want to add a new category, you have to talk to the the administrator. But uh, that's you know, if it's an Ableton related Ableton tutorial related post, then you want to check Ableton tutorials, obviously. If it's a blog post, you just want to check blog post. So uh, that's what you have to do. And then when you're done, you can save draft if you're going to come back and make some more edits later, or you can say submit for review. And when you do that, this will be sent to the admin or the editor of the website, and they will see if everything is good to go. Maybe make some small changes if need be, uh, either to the format or th to the content itself. And then they will make the post to the website. And you will still be credited as the author of it. Um, that's just the way it works when you're in that kind of uh, contributor slash newbie phase of, of the website. Okay, and that's it. Uh, usually you'd upload some images, but I guess a contributor can't do that to a WordPress website. I did not know that. Um, if you're an author, then you probably will be able to add images. But anyway, that's how you get started. I hope that helps. See you next time.